and Sambor. La arena la trae. Fuka Yonemura, the sands from the beaches of La Arena is de la Playa de Shirahama and Okinawa, also Zamami and Shonan. Mateo Rojas on site, and it's all about sub surfing today, and we're in for a good one, aren't we, Mateo? Yeah, good morning, Brad. We are here starting with these waves. From that today. west peak to the east peak, they give you a little something to work with. Leonard Nika up on this one right here. But the man who's large and in charge is back at it again. The Japanese rider, or Koshi, on the backhand, looking solid on all of his waves so far. And he's looking to get rid of a 6 0. So he's already got two strong waves, the biggest two waves in this heat. And he's going back to work right now again on this one. With now 1 minute 25 Japan, omedo to gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ma kyou wa mo mo daibu size ga sagatete mo mai mai no ano ka That's our that's the booth that we're in. Uh, Mateo and I are in this big blue booth here to the bottom center of the screen, but it's beautiful beautiful weather out here in El Salvador. We are in La Libertad. Geronimo to finish off that. So just when it looked as all lost, Geronimo will get a decent score. With that last maneuver, here comes Redbed. All right, has to be R Ricky Horikoshi just fitting up in that, that pocket. And as we've seen before, those goofy footers can really dig in and get that nose vertical <laughs> and fit into those little tight nooks and crannies on the wave that the regular footers don't really have access to. And boom, getting up and under the lip on that one, this really wow. shows you how it stretches. And as you're going down the line, you see these little puffs of whitewash coming out and you kind of scour the lineup and find out what's going on. But uh, we're starting to see some score. That was pretty wild. Here's Horikoshi up and for his second ride of the heat. On his backhand, coming down the line. Nice deep bottom turn by Horikoshi. Getting that board super vertical off the top. Now redirects. Gets back into the power source of the wave. Hits off the lip again. And that wave starting to flatten out. But Horikoshi, nice patient surfing here. Let's see what he does. He's going to try to stall Two it. heat number one from Japan. Riki Horikoshi, omedetou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Just, uh, just around, I think it was the heat that should catch that on the recap. And here comes the red. Here's Ricky Horikoshi coming down the line. All right, big <laughs> pops off the lip right there. And, you know, he, did, he wasn't even looking at the section at hand. He was looking way down the line because he knew he was going to have to really drive across this to find some open face. And now he's made it around there. And... Uh, yeah, these sections are really bending, and they're having to chase them down, and then they end up in this kind of chunky, uneven spot. So it's really navigating across, finding, linking, trying to find little power, but it's it's not spelled out for them as it was earlier. And this way, really not forming as well as it did earlier. Have it coming in. So this is a good thing. This is a uh, things are looking up and up as we have onshore wind, but we know we love to have that incoming push, and incoming push is Riki Horikoshi coming through, fading it back. This could have potentially been a, sh uh, a short shoulder, but now it looks like he's starting to feel his way. He's positioned himself in a spot that's going to run across those shallow sections, keep this kind of a critical section feeding towards him. Nice hit. And that will be the last maneuver on that one. You know, using that priority exactly when he needed to, and he made his requirement to pop himself in an advancing position, and the heat is over. Points earnings. Team USA definitely in contention to attack for that gold medal on the team. Goal, you know, to do the nine, and I did uh, what incredible. I can uh, explain like. So and, and the cool thing is, I mean, not only was the wave good. Go, I think we're gonna see something here. Yeah, this is coming in. It's really well back This is Ricky Horikoshi. His last shot. Two moving into advancing position. You see him out the back. That's Tamil Martino in yellow just in front of him. We're following both of these surfers. Horikoshi needs a 6.01. This wave can do it. Big bottom turn by Horikoshi. Now redirects. Gets a big bottom turn on this backside. Another hack off the top. He's going to bring this one all the way down the line. This is shaping up, Benway. This could make things very interesting. All three of our surfers riding this last set in as Benoit from France going to jump in on the action. He's like, hey, I'm not going to let you guys have all this. What a shot from our production team bringing it down. But eyes are on red, dead center of the screen, as we watch him bring this wave down the line. And who needs a wave pool when you've got Elson Zoll? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Are you kidding me? This is just Mother Nature. Attention, last set score of one, eight point seven three. Attention, last one. 
Surf City, El Salvador, ISA World Southern Paddleboard Championship. Today, day number eight, the final day of competition, and we'll decide your sup surfing and your team. Alex Salazar in blue, in red, Ayrton Cozzolino from Italy, and Ricky Oricoshi from Japan in white. This is a men's division round five. Two of these go to the big final. Yeah, once again, that's how it works, and there's Ricky going to work. He's got a six one seven, or he's got a score coming in. Has not dropped yet, but this will be his second wave score. And you look at him going to work on this. Look at that face that builds up. Look at the offshore to it. Wow. And it's great when you get the offshore winds because it holds that lip up a little bit more and gives them more opportunity. Gives them a little bit more of an open face to work with. For two spot, Salazar the number three spot, Carpentier the number four spot. And now we look to White. Here's Ricky up on another one, looking to replace a six point zero. Probably not going to get it, but two very good hits. And he's going to keep going on it. He's looking at it, seeing is this going to size it. Two, one. Hey! And there we go. There's a look at who's in this one. Ricky Horikoshi from Japan. He's in the white. Ayrton Cozzolino, who you just saw from Italy in that red. Benoit Carpentier from France. He's in yellow. And Alex Salah. Justin Dupont. Gold medal. Ricky Horikoshi from Japan. White jersey on the wave now. This is Ricky Horikoshi from Japan taking a look at this one. His second wave of the heat on his backhand. Nice snap off the top by Horikoshi. Another one. And he was, that wave opens up just slightly. He tries to just put a, put a stamp on that one as he's just gonna take it back into the very patient, only with two waves in this heat. And here he comes on his backhand for his third wave of this heat. Rips the face out of that one, Horikoshi, trying to get to the bottom and now comes back up, redirects back into the white water. You see how he's keeping low, keeping that center of gravity relatively low. And yeah, that's gonna help him. That second score could even top that top score that he has. Oh. And then, Leko, look at this ride. Yeah, he, you know, look, he's responding back. He's got the, this is the 707 that he got. And that was a really good wave for him all the way through. And you look at Benoit has moved to the number one spot, but you look at what uh, Salazar has brought to it. He's finding the same waves too as well. He's only got two waves, but that 707, that's a good way to start. Oh, here we go. Let's talk about him now. Here's Ayrton. He's going to get into this wave. There's a good turn, throwing buckets on his competitors, giving Benoit a shower right there. Now he sets back up on this one. This is a good wave. This is a chance for him to get his best wave of the heat right now. And this is when you want to do it. We're getting close to that halfway point. There we go, back into it. Ayrton, just trying to let this thing build, slaps it off the white water, wants some more face height. So look, he takes it to the left for a little bit, tries to break those fins loose, and just... Push him in the top, and that was definitely going to help Salazar's campaign. Here goes Benoit Carpentier. He wants that first place back. He is ticked off now. Don't want to make him mad because he can make things happen in a big way here to the inside section. Boom! Big turn right there. Throwing buckets on that one, even more so on the second one. Look at the shoulder. It's working for him. There's another one there. Towards the end of this thing, smacks it off, floats the section, gets in front of the other one, hits it again, layback style. Oh my goodness! That's, went down. That's coming we're, out of your. We're so excited. That, that that's coming out of your check for that computer. And the standings for your men sub surfing: the copper medal goes to Japan's Ricky Horikoshi, and the bronze medal going to Brazil's Alex Salazar. Silver medal going to Ayrton Cozzolino from Italy. And the gold medal going to Benoit Carpentier from France. And your overall team rankings, the copper medal going to Team Italy. The bronze medal going to United States of America. And the silver medal going to Spain. And the gold medal in your team ranking, Team France. Through the week of sup racing, sup surfing, and paddleboard racing, France placed an athlete on all but one podium, amassing 15 medals, including four gold, an all-around team performance that claimed their historic first-ever team gold in the event.